This is meditation. Getting a glimpse of glory in the Bible or in the world, the heavens are telling the glory of God, and turning that glimpse, you start with a glimpse, a God-given glimpse, a pinprick of light, and you put your eye to it, and you move your head back and forth until oh, there's a world on the other side. How do you do that? For Herbert, the effort to see and savor the glory of Christ was the effort to say it in a way that it had never been said before. The saying, the effort, the poetic effort to say it in a way that it had never been said before was a way of seeing it. I, I hope one of the effects of this point is to disabuse you of the greatness of spontaneity. You know what the effect of most spontaneity is? Rut. Rut. I just want to be spontaneous when I get up in front of my people. I don't want to give any forethought here to how to do a pastoral prayer or welcome the people or do an offertory. I'm just going to see what comes out because that will be authentic. It won't be authentic. It'll be a rut. Lead God and direct. You're going to sound like you sound over and over and over again. God has given you a mind to reflect on the glory of an offertory. The glory of welcoming human beings into the presence of God for which there might be some forethought that would bring wonders to your mind, that would stun your people, that they've walked into the presence of somebody who's lived with God this morning and has something significant to say about this moment. I'm not excited about spontaneity. Well, yes, I am too, because right now, I, this is not in my manuscript. <laughs> you, you worked that out. I worked really hard on this. And that's one of the reasons I just said what I said. Does that make sense? Oh, good. Good. Now, where was I? I've lost my place. <laughs>